Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the ECMWF Ensemble model for the UK and the Europe for the next four weeks for uh, today's first video update. So we're going to have a look at the temperature and precipitation uh, anomalies for the uh, next month, taking us into the early part of uh, March and uh, see what is uh, being forecast by the ECMWF uh, model for the next 30 days uh, today. Uh, just to say that today's second video update will be coming up on the homepage this afternoon, and that's going to be your regular week to 10 day uh, video update. We're at the Hungarian Met Office for uh, this update, so a big thank you to the Hungarian Met Office for supplying the ECMDF 30 day temperature and precipitation anomalies. We can't uh, see 500 millibar heights or um, mean sea level pressure, unfortunately, but you can get a broad idea of what model is forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomalies. So we'll start off uh, with week one. It's week six for um, 2019, but it's week one for our forecast period. It's going to to take us from the 4th through to the 10th of February. And big changes on what we've been seeing with these charts over the past few weeks because now most of Europe has gone uh, milder than average. So we do still have some colder than average temperature anomalies left across the far north of Scandinavia, so the north of Norway, the north of Sweden, uh, north of Finland. Those areas are still coming out colder than average, but it's only there and over towards Iceland. Other than those areas, it's basically a milder than average week uh, coming up. So for many western parts of Europe, where it has been quite cold through the second half of January, Germany, France, UK, Ireland, temperature anomalies are a little bit milder than average. The far north of Scotland comes out uh, a little bit colder than average still in the week ahead, but it's not much in it. Let's say that's close to average. Basically, many uh, western and uh, northwestern parts of Europe are looking quite mild uh, now in the week ahead. Eastern parts of Europe are also looking quite mild, so from uh, sort of western Russia and down to the Black Sea, and then down into the southeast of Europe, all those areas are coming out quite mild too. As far as the Mediterranean is concerned, Generally quite a mild scene free there as well. Most places with above average um, temperature anomaly. So it is a really quite a mild week coming up in most parts of Europe this week. Precipitation-wise, also quite big changes in the week ahead. So we can see that the far northwest of Europe coming out wetter than average now. So Ireland, UK, in towards the low countries. Um, Denmark, then into the very far south of uh, Norway and Sweden. Those areas coming out with above average uh, precipitation. Many central and eastern and southern parts of Europe are coming out drier than average in the week ahead, so it is quite a dry scene, telling us that high pressure is likely to be dominating across much of southern and uh, central Europe in the week ahead. But far southeast of Europe, so like southern Italy and then going down in towards Greece and Turkey, those areas are forecast to be a little bit above average with precipitation. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that could be from uh, thunderstorms and heavy showers, of course. Still a bit drier than average across the far north of Norway as well and over towards Iceland, telling us there might still be some influence from high pressure in the northern latitude. But essentially the high pressure that's been within the northern latitudes is giving way to a much more Atlantic flow of winds. This is how the week two temperature anomaly is looking. This one's taking us from the 11th through to the 17th of February. Again, we see a mild scene across most parts of Europe, particularly this time northern and eastern Europe, where we've got temperature anomalies widely going between three and six degrees above average. So it's a very mild scene in the east and the northeast of Europe. That includes uh, much of Scandinavia, so where it has been quite cold across Scandinavia recently, it's uh, turning out to be very mild there as we're going into the middle of February. Out in the west, actually, it's a little bit cooler. So the UK and Ireland are still a little bit above average, around uh, average to one degree above average. But overall, most parts of Western Europe do look a little bit uh, cooler, really, a little bit closer to average, let's say. It's really from the east of uh, France, uh, I mean, going out into the rest of Europe, where it's either going to be like a couple of degrees above average, or potentially when you get to the far east and northeast of Europe, possibly uh, three to six degrees above average. But Mediterranean looks pretty cool in the west. Well, let's say close to average in the west of the Med. Eastern parts of the Med are looking uh, quite a bit milder. 
precipitation wise pretty dry scene actually through uh, most parts of uh, Europe in uh, this week uh, the 11th to 17th of February so uh, it's like just basically dominated by high pressure I would have thought a lot of high pressure sitting through many southern uh, parts of Europe and also probably down in towards parts of Med 2 uh, a little bit wetter than average across the very far north of Scandinavia uh, and the Med, I suppose, is looking close to average, so that's probably a little bit more unsettled there compared to those drier than average areas. But to be honest, it looks like a pretty mild and dry week coming up there as we go from the 11th through to the 17th of February. Week 3, which of course is week 8 for uh, 2019, is taking us from the 18th to the 24th of February. Again, big changes on what the ECM uh, longer range model has been forecasting over the past few weeks. Obviously, those colder than average forecasts that the model was coming up with through much of January are uh, proving to be uh, wildly inaccurate, really, because now it's going for continuous milder than average conditions. So this time in week 3, week eight for the year, we see that the milder than average temperature anomalies are really across central and southern parts of Europe. So it's milder than average in Spain and Portugal, it's milder than average through France, southern Germany, milder than average Italy, milder than average over the Adriatic in towards the Balkans, milder than average through there. It's a little bit milder than average across parts of uh, Norway as well. In between, though, close to average temperatures through Ireland, through the UK, through uh, the low countries up to Denmark, uh, much of Germany, central northern Germany anyway, milder than average, many northern parts of Poland, milder than average, and then into the east, the northeast of Europe, around the Baltic areas, um, again, coming out close to average in those areas. So... Uh, it's average to above average temperatures really going through to the 24th of February precipitation wise. Losing the signal, we can see that it's a little bit wetter than average down here around the southwest of the UK in towards Southern Ireland and then going down towards parts of Portugal. A bit above average with precipitation there. Otherwise, again, just lots of um, average conditions telling us that the model is losing its signal. Very little of use really with precipitation once we get through to uh, week three and then finally we're into uh, week four when the page uh, refreshes so we're just coming up with refresh now this is how things are looking for uh, week four which of course is week nine for the year and it's still looking pretty mild actually across most parts of Europe so we can see that again we've got many of these central parts of Europe coming out mild and an average mile through uh, through France, into low countries, into Germany, and then going down into places like Hungary, uh, above average temperature anomalies there, looking quite mild through most of the Mediterranean as well. <coughs> Excuse me, northern parts of Europe are close to average with precipitation, uh, with uh, uh, temperature anomalies across Scandinavia, and it's close to average for the UK and for Ireland as well. <coughs> And then we go down to precipitation. We can see that, uh, again, we've got many of these central parts of uh, the Mediterranean, many of the central parts of Europe that are coming out slightly above average with precipitation. In the far north of uh, Scandinavia, it's close to average with precipitation there. And much of southern Europe is, again, coming out with uh, near average uh, temperature and precipitation anomalies. So big changes really from the uh, ECMDF seasonal model this week. It looks like the rest of February is now shaping up to be a relatively mild month through most parts of Europe. Generally a little bit above average with the both the temperature uh, anomalies and also at times with precipitation anomalies. But they are varying from week to week. So I think as far as precipitation is concerned, it's a weaker signal. There will be some wet of an average condition in there, but also some drier than average conditions in there. I think broadly it looks like a big ridge is going to be dominating many central and southern parts of Europe. And that's going to bring up this wall from kind of like the middle of the Atlantic and also southern parts of Europe. So that will involve Atlantic weather systems coming in at times, so unsettled conditions at times. But overall, it looks like February shaping up. And um, this is the main point of the update, I think, this week. It looks like February's now shaping up to be uh, really quite a mild month, not just for the UK and for Ireland, but for much of Europe as well. That's a big change on what the longer-range output has been forecasting 
over the past few weeks. So it looks like an epic fail from the longer range output that has been very much um, depicting northern blocking and colder conditions um, going into uh, Europe. We'll discuss this more in today's second video update, I'm sure. But it looks like a big fail from the long range models, including the mighty ECM. Uh, for February, because now it appears that we are very much shaping up for quite a mild, uh, quite a mild month. Not just the UK, but most of Europe too. Right, we'll be back uh, later on this afternoon with your second video update. So come back for that then. That's going to be your week to ten day uh, video update. Of course, be on the homepage later this afternoon. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.